Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little bonnet for baby girls between 9 and 12 months old. I did it to match the little cardigan sweater and the little pants that I showed you last week. If you like to see this tutorial, just click the little lamb down here next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page. You will find the tutorial for the cardigan sweater and the pants there. Now, like I said, this little bonnet is for baby girls between 9 and 12 months old, along with the little jacket and the little pants but you can easily make them smaller or bigger just be sure to check out the information box of each one of the videos also comment below and let me know what you think about this little set or any suggestions that you may have for next week's tutorial also if you prefer a written pattern check out my Etsy shop I'll be adding the written instructions there as soon as they're ready now at the end of the tutorial I'll leave you the finished measurements of this little cap and remember all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish okay so let's get started but first don't forget to subscribe share my tutorials and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching okay to begin I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this number three baby yarn I'm using Bernat baby sports I went ahead and made my own little cake here now you can also use DK weight yarn or eight ply if you're in Australia okay so here to begin we're going to start with this pink color and then i'm going to use a little bit of white towards the end so i'm using the same colors that i used to make the little cardigan sweater and the little pants so here the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to chain four one two three four join to the first chain like this and make a slip stitch Now inside this ring that we just formed, we're going to make 12 double crochets, but first I'm going to chain two. These two chains from here on never count as a stitch. So now yarn over, insert your hook in this ring here and make your first double crochet. Insert your hook back into that ring and make your second double crochet. This is all I'm going to do until I have 12 double crochets. I'll meet you back once I have my 12 double crochets to show you what we need to do next. I finished making my 12 double crochets. Now to finish this first row, we're going to go on top of the first double crochet, not the chains. These are the chains, so find your first double crochet and right on top, make a slip stitch. And here's the first row with 12 double crochets. Now for the second row, chain two. Remember the two chains never count. In this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make two double crochets on each one of the double crochets. So beginning into this first one where we did the slip stitch, you're going to make two double crochets, two double crochets on top of the next, and so on. You're going to continue like this and we're going to finish this second row with a total of 24 double crochets. Continue on each at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have 24 double crochets to finish. Go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here's the second row with 24 double crochets. Now for the third row, chain two. In this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make two double crochets, then one, two, one, two, one all the way around until we have 36 double crochets. Let me show you. Beginning into the same double crochet where we do the slip stitch, make two double crochets. Into the next, make one. Into the next, two. Into the next, one. This is all we're going to do for this third row until we have 36 double crochets, like I said. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 36 double crochets to finish. Go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the third row with 36 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, chain two. In this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one. Let me show you. Beginning into this first double crochet, make two double crochets. Into the next two double crochets, make one on each. Into the next, make two double crochets. And then again into the next two, make one double crochet on each. And then you're going to continue 
with the same sequence. Two, one, one, two, one, one, to the end of this fourth row. At the end, we're going to have 48 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have 48 double crochets to finish. Go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. I forgot to mention the previous row that I'm using this hook. It's the same size. This one here was nagging my yarn, so I decided to switch. Now for the fifth row, chain two. In this row, what we're going to do is we're going to start with two double crochets, then into the next three double crochets, we're going to make one double crochet on each. Then you're going to repeat the same thing. Two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. Let me show you. Beginning into the same double crochet where we do the slip stitch, make two double crochets, then into the next three, make one double crochet on each. Again, into the next, make two double crochets. And into the next three, make one double crochet on each. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this row. Two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. At the end of this fifth row, we're going to have 60 double crochets. Let me show at the end. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have a total of 60 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here's the fifth row with 60 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, chain two. In this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make two double crochets, then into the next four, one, two, and then into the next four, one. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make two double crochets. Then into the next four double crochets, make one double crochet on each. Again, into the next, make two double crochets. And into the next four, one double crochet on each. This is how we're going to continue for the rest of this row. You're just going to make two, then into the next four, one, two, and then four double crochets. At the end of the sixth row, we're going to have 72 double crochets. Continue and we'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this sixth row with a total of 72 double crochets. Now it's measuring right across. It's measuring about 13.5 centimeters, which is almost 5.5 inches. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to begin our pattern. This pattern is going to consist of fans and V-stitches. So let me show you. Here, I'm going to chain three, and into this same stitch here, I'm going to make a double crochet. Skip one, two, and into the third, make a fan. Each one of the fans consists of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, Skip one, two, and into the third, make a V-stitch. Each one of the V-stitch is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Again, skip one, two, and into the third, now make a fan. Skip one, two, and into the third, make a V-stitch. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this seventh row. So continue and I will meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. This is where we did fans and V stitches. I have a total of 24 stitches. Just for reference, I have 12 V stitches and 12 fans. To finish, go here to the side where we have these three chains and join with a slip stitch. Now for the eighth row, we're going to chain three and we're going to turn. From here on, we're going to turn. Now, inside this fan, I'm now going to make a V-stitch. Inside the V-stitch, I'm going to make a fan. Again, inside the next fan, make a V-stitch. And inside the next V-stitch, make a fan. This is how you're going to continue for this part. And we're not going to finish this row completely. 
we're going to finish right about here because we're going to leave this part here open for the back of the little bonnet. So I'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to finish this eighth row. I'm here at the end of this eighth row. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four stitches here left to finish. I'm going to make a double crochet inside this V-stitch and this is how I finish this eighth row with a total of 19 stitches all around plus two double crochets here at the end and at the beginning these three chains here count as a double crochet. Just for reference I have 10 V-stitches and I have nine fans. Now for the ninth row chain three and turn. Here we're going to repeat the same thing we did on the previous row and all the rows to follow you're just going to look at your first stitch. For me I have a v-stitch here so I need to make a fan. In the next row you're going to have a fan so you're going to make a v-stitch and so on. This pattern is very easy. All you do is the same thing. Fans inside the v-stitches and v-stitches inside the fans. That's all you're going to do for the rest of this ninth row. When you finish this row, let me finish this fan here. When you finish this row, you're going to finish here by making a double crochet into the third chain. Then you're going to chain three and turn. And then here, you're going to have a fan. So you're going to start that next row with a V-stitch. And then you're just going to alternate back and forth. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do here for the rest of this part, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do, so I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making this last row with this color pink. Here at the end, I just finished by making a double crochet. I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop, and this is what it looks like. In total, I have 14 rows. I have six rows here of double crochets, and then I have eight rows of this pattern, including the first row that we did here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. So in total, like I said, we have 14 rows. Now this part here is measuring from here right across to the end of the last row. It's measuring about 16 centimeters, which is about 6.25 inches. So now for row 15, what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the opposite side. This is where we finish, so we're going to go right here. Now this row, I need to make it from the inside out. So I'm going to grab a loop here with this white yarn. I'm going to insert my hook here into this last chain, grab a loop. This here is the front side, so we haven't turned yet. So I'm just going to attach my white yarn here first. So bring this loop through, chain one, and turn. Now we're on the inside into this same chain here at the end, make a single crochet. Now I have a V-stitch, we have two double crochets. So yarn over and make a front post double crochet. Inside the V-stitch, make two double crochets. And finish with a front post double crochet. Now I have a fan, we have four double crochets into the first double crochet, work a front post double crochet. Inside the fan, make two double crochets and finish with a front post double crochet. Again, I have a V-stitch, work a front post double crochet into the first double crochet. Inside the V-stitch, make two double crochets and finish with a front post double crochet and so on. You're going to continue like this and repeat the same thing. And that's what it looks like. Continue and I will meet you at the end of this 15th row. Okay, I finished this 15th row here at the end. All I did was just make a double crochet on top of the last double crochet, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. And this row here is done. Now for row 16, we're going to go on top of this last double crochet and I'm going to use this pink yarn again. I'm going to bring a loop through the front like this chain one, turn, and then make a single crochet here into the same stitch. Now we have four double crochets. This here is a V-stitch and we have these four double crochets. 
In the middle, we have the two double crochets. So in the middle of each one of the V stitches and the fans, where we did the two double crochets, this is what you're going to do. It's exactly the same thing. You're going to work a front post half double crochet into the first double crochet of the center. And in between the two double crochets right here, you're going to make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet. And then work a front post half double crochet into the second double crochet. Again, jump to the next, the two double crochets in the center of this fan, work a front post half double crochet between the two double crochets right here, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet, and then work a front post half double crochet into the second double crochet. Again, let me show you. We have the next set of four double crochets. We have the two here in the center, work a front post half double crochet, a single crochet between the two, three chains, single crochet, and then finish with a front post half double crochet. And this is what it looks like. This is all you're going to do for the rest of this 16th row. So continue and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this 16th row. Now to finish this row, we're going to go on top of this last single crochet and make a single crochet. And this is how I finish this row and this is what it looks like. Look how beautiful this looks. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make single crochets all around here. So what we're going to do here, don't cut your yarn. You're going to chain one here and into this last single crochet that I just did, make a single crochet into the next row in white make a single crochet that's two then we have chains double crochet chains double crochets into the chain make one single crochet that's three into the double crochet make two four five then the chains six into the double crochet seven and eight the chains nine double crochets ten 11 and then I have these last two chains make two single crochets there so that's 12 and 13 so I have 13 single crochets here now what we're going to do here for these double crochets for the fans and the V stitches in the spaces is just make one single crochet into the double crochets and into the chain spaces so we have this double crochet here to begin that's one single crochet that's one two, three, inside the chain one space, four, five, six, then I have the V stitch, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and into this last double crochet, 15 15 single crochets so so far we have 13 15 and now I need to make 13 single crochets along this other side so here into this first space here make two single crochets and then one and then two and so on from here you're going to do the same thing we did here so that you finish with 13 single crochets along this other side I'll meet you here at the end of this row Okay, I finished making these 13 single crochets along this side. So we have 13, 15, and then we have 13. So that's a total of 41 single crochets for this first row. Now for the second row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now in this second row, what I'm going to do is one double crochet on top of each one of the single crochets. So beginning into this second single crochet, make a double crochet double crochet on top of the next and so on here this is all I'm going to do and I'm going to finish this second row with 41 double crochets continue and I will meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next 
Okay, I finished making this last row here at the end. I just finished by making a double crochet, then cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. All I need to do here is just hide this end, and the little bonnet is done, and this is what it looks like. I went ahead and weaved in a little ribbon here through this last row of double crochets that we did, and all you do is just go in and out, in and out, and just weave it all the way around. And that's what it looks like here in the front i went ahead and, and sewed in these little flowers you know i love these little rosebuds i just sewed them in there make sure that if you do the same they're nice and secured in there so that the baby won't pull them off mine are nice and secure they won't come off so that's what i did here around it's optional you can um, leave the little flowers out if you like so the little bonnet is done let me give you the finished measurements so the depth it's from here to here, it's measuring about 6.75 inches, which is about 17 centimeters, and the height from top to bottom, it's measuring about 17.5 centimeters, which is about seven inches. So based on these measurements, this little bonnet cap is for baby girls between nine and 12 months old. Now you can also make it smaller or bigger. Be sure to check out the information box below. I'll leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. Now I made this little hat, as you know, to match the little set that I already showed you, the little jacket here, the little pants, these. If you want to see these tutorials, just click the little lamb next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page you'll find the english tutorial there remember my channel is bilingual all of my tutorials are always in english and in spanish okay so this completes this little set comment below and let me know what you'd like me to make next thank you for your support always until next time